My friends, I ask that we begin with a few moments of silence. Gracious God, as we gather here to install all who have been called and chosen by the citizens of Middletown to serve in positions of trust, we ask you, Lord, that in these very complex and challenging times, they may be given the humility to serve as Jesus did, to listen and to learn from one another with a glad heart as they strive to understand, weigh, and act upon the needs and concerns of the people of Middletown. Gracious God, grant them the faith, hope, and, and love required of them in the works that they are and will be doing. And this we ask through Christ our Lord.
And that's what we work for every single day. And the work that is done both on the school committee levels locally and on our council levels do just that. So I'm honored to be here tonight uh, to, um, to uh, give the oath of office to our school committee first, right? Is that what the plan is? Sorry. Yes. As a former mayor, I've done this a few times, so hopefully I get it right after being a little rusty after a number of years not being here. But I'll just uh, say hi, and then you state your name, and then I'll repeat uh, a few words at a time, and you repeat after me. But if you can raise your right hand, please. Uh, and when I say I repeat your name. I do solemnly swear that I will be true and faithful unto the town of Middletown and support the charter and the ordinances thereof unto the state of Rhode Island and support the laws and the constitution thereof and the constitution of the United States and I will well and truly execute the office of school committee for the term for which I have been elected, or until another be engaged in my place, or until I am legally discharged therefrom. So help me God. Congratulations.
state of Rhode Island and support the laws and constitution thereof and the Constitution of the United States. And you will willingly execute the office of town council president for the term for which you have been appointed until um, another being gains in your place until you are legally discharged there from it.
Excellent, thank you. Okay. Um, the fourth order of business is election of assistant town solicitor for prosecution matters. Uh, nominations for assistant town solicitor for prosecution matters are now in order. Uh, and I would uh, probably nominate Anthony Vasari. The name of Anthony Vasari has been placed in nomination as assistant town solicitor for prosecution matters. Are there any other nominations? There being no further nominations, the motion to close the nominations is in order. Move to close the nominations. Second. It has been moved and seconded to close the nominations. Uh, those in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? Motion carries. Anthony Vasari has been nominated as assistant town solicitor for prosecution matters. Motion to appoint Anthony Vasari as assistant town solicitor for prosecution matters. Second. We have a second. All those in favor say aye. Aye. Anybody opposed? Motion carries.
So I was set on this on the council for four years also, a uh, few years back. Um, <laughs> the seventh order of business is the election of a municipal court judge. Nominations for municipal court judge are now in order. I'd like to recognize the Board of 
campuses. So you can come forward or we can come to you. However you want to do it. Uh, we'd like to recognize the Board of Canvases, Lucy Dion, Mrs. Murphy, and Adeline Rose, or Mrs. Rose, uh, for all their help and hard work in executing a successful election. These women work extremely hard and are extremely dedicated. Um, and simply put, they can look easy and flawless. So we thank you for that, um, for, for making that uh, the ele every election that you work on easy and flawless. So thanks for all your hard work. Just take a minute to thank Wendy and Karen also because they work extremely hard. <laughs> For those of you that don't know, the town clerk and the deputy town clerk really love the town. <laughs> so, having said that, that's it. Somebody has to do it. You're right. Thank you, sir. Um, the uh, the next, uh, we'd like to recognize Governor McKee. You want to come down with us, please? That'd be great. <laughs> Governor, uh, we recognize you for taking the time to join us this evening. It's a privilege and an honor for you taking time out of your busy schedule to come down and swear us all in. Um, in the bag is actually, so thank you for that. We appreciate it. In the bag is a, a town tile, it's actually a town clock, and it's also a pen set that says the town of Middletown. So every time you're working hot at your desk, you can look up and you can remember us. Thank you, Governor. Is Bill here? We'd now like to recognize Deborah Gero. Deb, you, um, most of you know Deb has been a state rep for 14 years. Um, she ran for a lieutenant governor. Um, she was unfavorable for her, but you know, when one door closes, another door opens. So we'd certainly like to recognize you, Deb, for 14 years of serving Jamestown and Middletown and really everyone in the state of Rhode Island. So uh, you've worked, uh, Deb, you've worked tirelessly for us. We're grateful for your hard work and dedication and for making Middletown a better place to live. Thank you. You're welcome. Thank you. Uh, I just want to say thank you so very much for the honor and the privilege of serving as your state rep for the last 14 years. It was a joyous journey. We did some remarkable work, and uh, you'll always be in my heart. So, uh, Godspeed. Thank you. And Deb, we wish you the best of luck in all your future endeavors. Okay, Terry Flynn. We welcome two new councils, but we're saying bye to two, two former councils. So, Terry, if you could join us, please. Say goodbye, goodbye to Council Flynn, who served on our town for the past four years. Your thoroughness and willingness to tackle any issue, regardless of its toughness or easiness, um, will be sorely missed. We thank you for your hard work, dedication, and contributions to making this a better town. Uh, we are grateful for having you on the council with us. Thank you, Terry. We appreciate it. picture in here that was done, I believe, by, by uh, probate judge. He does uh, pictures on the side. It's actually the one you present to the town. We're giving it back to you. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just, thank you, Terry. We appreciate it. <laughs> Bottom of my bills. You're not getting away with that. <laughs> nice try. <laughs> oh, 
Okay, so we also say goodbye to Barbara Von Villas. Barbara served the past 14 years consecutively. Yeah. Your steady guidance, voice of reason, and your extreme passion for educational improvements was always present. Your ability to keep discussions on track on all issues and in perspective will be missed. I will always hold a special place in my heart for you as my high school homeroom and English teacher, <laughs> as well as my fellow counsel for the past 10 years. You have been a lifetime educator as a teacher and also as a town council. For that, we thank you and are forever grateful for the countless hours spent over the past 14 years making Middletown a better place for all. Thank you. So I'd also like to recognize as we welcome two new school committee members, uh, two school committee members um, are no longer with us. They're with us, but they're not no longer school committee members. <laughs> if I, my mind was processing it, and as I was saying it, I said, that's coming out wrong. <laughs> Leanna Fenton, uh, Ferrera Ferrer Fenton, she's not here this evening, but I'd still like to say a few words about her. Um, Leanna, because it's, it's, it's impressive. Leanna served from 1998 to 2022 consecutively. 24 consecutive years of commitment, dedication, and countless hours to help improve the quality of education for every Middletown student, especially the robotics, because that was her thing that she loved. Um, we thank you for that, Leanna. We wish you the best in your future endeavors. And we have something that uh, Wendy will certainly present to her, and I hope I get to see her. If not, I'll call her. If not, please pass that along, okay? Uh, Doug Arnold, come on up, Mr. Arnold. Mr. Arnold, my eighth grade math teacher. <laughs> With a few prods. He majored in Texas. That's it. <laughs> Doug, Arnold, Doug Arnold served from 2014 to 2022. In the past few years, he served as the vice chair of the school committee. We thank you for both your dedicated public service um, as a teacher and as a school committee member and contributions to improving educational opportunities for all our children. We wish you the best in your future endeavors, Doug. Thank you very, I hate to call you Doug, it's always been Mr. Ronald. Thank you, Mr. Ronald. I appreciate it. not be here, but as Paul said, she served 24 years. She's also been an integral part of the uh, Rhode Island School Association, and she's been on that board for over 20 years. So she's been a, a really important part of bringing a lot of um, issues to the state and, and working with our legislators to be able to um, support our students across the state, not just in Middletown. But it's been a real asset for us to have her as a Middletown School Committee member being able to bring so much back to our local town. And for Mr. Arnold, Doug, I would like to you to come up here for us. Doug has been with us, as, as Paul said, for eight years. It's been a true pleasure working with him. Uh, with him being an educator, it was a real asset to bring his skill set and his knowledge to the school board and be able to utilize that to enhance and work really hard for our students to provide them a high quality education. So we have a little gift for you. I was going to save it for Thursday's meeting, but I feel this is a great forum to give you. Thank you very much, Thank Doug. Thank you very much. Thank you to both of I love to watch democracy in action. It may get a little loud sometimes, but it's a good thing. And when you're on a school committee, you only need to know one thing, vote for what is best for the kids. Thank you to our Governor, Dan McKee, 
Uh, for taking time, the governor already busy schedule to swear us all in. It's an honor and a privilege to have you here with us this evening. Um, I'd also like to recognize other distinguished guests. We have Senator Lou De Palma sitting in the front row here. <laughs> Again, Representative Deborah Giro. And I'd like to introduce, for those of you that don't know him, um, new Representative Lex. Alex Nickelman, who is taking the next position. <laughs> Thank you to the Middletown Police and Fire Department's Color Guard. You guys look very sharp tonight, and job well done. Thank you. Thank you to the Middletown High School Chorus for singing our national anthem. Great job. Impressive. Very well done. Thank you to the Reverend Father Thomas O'Neill for the invocation and soon the benediction. We appreciate you being here. And Father's also on our Open Space and Fields Committee, for those of you that don't know that. So, excellent job. I want to thank my fellow counselors for your confidence in me uh, to be your council president. I'd like to take a moment to welcome two new council members and again say goodbye to two former council members. The absences of Terry Flynn and Barbara Barbellis leave some big shoes to fill. Um, we welcome new counselors Emily Tessier and Julie <laughs> Flynn. Who we are excited to work with. Peter is no stranger to public service. Peter brings a lifetime of public service and a wealth of government knowledge. He served as Newport's fire chief and he's also served as City of Newport's interim city manager for a time. Um, Emily, Emily's a lifelong Middletown resident who brings youth, fresh perspectives, and an abundance of welcome energy to the town council. And when I say energy, I mean a lot of energy. <laughs>
They also say goodbye to two tangent school community members, Leanna Fenton, and of course, I said earlier, my eighth grade math teacher, Don Donald. We are here to serve the people of Middletown to the best of our ability. We promise you two things. First, that we'll work very hard for you, and second, that we'll be extremely passionate about protecting your taxpayer dollars. We are committed to seeing that the town uses its resources very, very happily to ensure that Middletown remains a vibrant and great place to live now and in the distant future. We cannot predict the future, right? Certainly not, but we can predict that we'll work together to position this great town to weather any difficult times or issues that may arise. However, we need to remember in order to do that, that we are one team united and we need to make, remain one team united no matter what comes between us. <clears throat> you have placed great trust and responsibility in us that will always be honored and be respect, respected. We will remain grateful and humble, as the Father stated earlier, I thought he stole a line from my speech, <laughs> uh, and humble for the opportunity to work with you and for you, and we look forward to the work ahead. May God bless you in your deliberations, in your, at times, very long meetings, and in the decisions you make. May God bless all who assist you, all who brief you, and all who advise you. May God bless the people you appoint to committees and boards. Bless all who strive to make this town livable, functional, cooperative, and inclusive. Bless, O oh Lord, in a special way in our present time particularly. Bless and protect our election officials and workers in this town and everywhere else so essential to democracy. Lord, keep them safe and whole in all that they do. Amen. There is, um, just before we close it out, there is one more, um, there's one more person that's not here this evening that I'd like to recognize. Um, Governor Bill Fawson uh, was a state trooper, a state trooper that every time I've seen the governor and been in the governor's company, Bill is, um, Bill drives the governor, governor around and makes sure he's safe and gets there on time. I wanted to recognize Bill because Bill not only ran out Rhode Island State Trooper, but he's also a former Middletown police officer um, that took the lead to the State Trooper. So we have a clock and as a State Trooper. We have a clock and a clock tile for Bill. I want to make sure, I was hoping he was here tonight, but uh, he's not. But I want to make sure that we pass that on to him. Bill, we appreciate that. He was well trained here, by the way. Yeah. Great job, buddy. You know, we, say yeah, we just want to say thank you for keeping you safe and the residents of Middletown is and the people of St. Rollins is continues to serve, so thank you. Uh, we are having refreshments and some dinner food tonight, so we all invite you to join us for there. Oh, yeah. That's just <laughs> 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 <laughs>